All right, it is finally happening. I feel like we've been waiting what feels like forever for this. But the corpse flower at NC State is blooming. People are actually lining up right now to see and smell it. Of course, CBS 17's <laughs> Imani Payne is there. And I know, Imani, you're in the uh, room with this not so great plant. You're smart, you're wearing your mask. But have you managed to get a little yeah. whiff of this at all? <laughs> Yeah, I'm in the danger zone right now, I like to call it. I did, and it was strong, and I instantly kind of regretted it. Uh, I've got my face mask on, but I can still smell that corpse flower seeping through right now. It actually made my eyes water just a little bit. It's really that bad, but still, as you can see, these viewing slots are completely booked up with crowds waiting to get a whiff of their own. First, you see it. It looks like something out of Jurassic Park or, uh, you know, it looks prehistoric to me. Then you smell it. It basically smells like a dead animal. <laughs> this large plant on display at NC State. And then she leaned in and went, oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's where it is. Drawing crowds eager to get a whiff of the unique corpse flower. Well, I first saw the, it when it bloomed the first time five years ago in 2016, and then I was lucky enough to come back in 2019 as well. I'm actually coming back later again. I'm coming back later again with a different group of friends. <laughs> so it's been fun to see it not grow up, but it's been fun to see it re reproduce on a regular basis. Native to Indonesia, the corpse flower is known for producing a smelly odor as it blooms. This one at NC State taking 13 years to bloom for the first time back in 2016. Still, despite the stench, many people call this viewing a pleasant experience. It's beautiful, though. I mean, I, I came to see it, um, not really to smell it. <laughs> Yeah. But it is beautiful, and how many chances do you get to see something like this? So it's pretty neat. And the flower is only in bloom for about two days at a time and only blooms every three to seven years, so a rare experience indeed. For now, we're live in Raleigh, Imani Payne, CBS 17 News. Imani, real quick before we let you go, how would you describe the smell right now, and is one mask even enough? <laughs> You know, if you can do multiple face masks, I would recommend that. They've got some extra ones here for folks just in case. Um, it's strong, and, and the best way I can describe it, it's like nothing I've ever smelled before. <laughs> Lucky you. Lucky you. All right, Amani, we appreciate you taking one for the team on this one.